Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I've been doing a lot of videos on Ledger products, so I figured I'd give a little love to the Trezor brand here. So I've got a uh, Trezor Model T that I'm gonna do a video on here for you guys. And um, if you don't wanna see me do a quick little unboxing of it, jump to this time code here, and then you'll get to the rest of the video. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started and let's make it happen. All right, so with inside the box here, you're going to open it up. You're going to see with inside here instructions on what's included and how to set it up. You're gonna have your nice little handy dandy cable here, your USB-C cable. You're gonna have your Trezor Model T. Um, and one thing I think is really unique about this Trezor here is that they give you a magnetic plate, say that you wanna have this um, on your computer or somewhere uh, where you want to just quickly put it, you know, magnetize and, and have it hold your Trezor Model T, it's right there. So I think that's kind of unique. Um, I don't see myself using it that way, but if you want to have that available for you to be able to place it somewhere, like say on your table or, or somewhere else on maybe like your filing cabinet or something, you can just quickly put it up there. So that is nice there that they have in the box. And then of course they also have uh, two different cards here for your uh, password uh, seed phrases. Uh, these are very important to write down because these are unique to your Trezor um, and it allows you to recover those wallets or wallet if you ever have any issue with your product. Um, protect these at all costs, keep them safe because if you lose these, You'll never be able to recover your, your assets again if you uh, forget these seed word key phrases. So anyways, that's quickly what's in the box. Um, other than that, let's hop into it and let's start setting everything up. Once you pull your Model T out of the box, you're gonna see a seal here on the, uh, the USB port. Uh, that indicates that this is an official Trezor T wallet that was sent to you. It was not tampered with, with had not been used by someone else um, before they send it to you. Um, so you can see here, so as you can see here, there, that's the seal and that's what it looks like um, on the Model T. So let's go ahead and take that seal off and then we'll plug it in. Well, that was definitely poorly designed there. I've still got some residue that I'll have to clean up on, on the Trezor. So then let's go ahead and plug it in here. You can see the screen come on. It says, safe place for your coins, welcome. And then it'll let you know to go to trezor.io forward slash start. Let's see if you can see us here. Can you guys see that? There we go. That's what it says, all right. So we're gonna hop on over to uh, Trezor's website, just like it says, forward slash start. All right, and then of course it's gonna let you know, hey, you need to download the app for the suite to download it and get everything set up. I already have it uh, downloaded because I've already used uh, the Trezor for my Trezor One, but let's go ahead and open up uh, the Trezor suite. All right, and then once you have the Trezor suite pulled up here, it's gonna ask you to make sure the hologram was uh, was intact, not uh, tampered with. Um, I bought it from the official website, which yes, I did. And then the package was not tampered with as well. Let's get the microphone here, there we go. So let's set up the Trezor. All right, install firmware. You gotta install some firmware, click okay. You're gonna see it shows installing firmware there. If you guys can see that, there we go, a little hard. Yeah, there you go. Everything is updated on the firmware, so create a new wallet or restore one from the backup. So you remember how I told you that there were uh, these seed phrase cards here that you need to write down? So if you had already had a Model T or a Model 1, you would have already have written down your seed phrase here. And so then you could just do recover wallet on the right and be able to put your wallet back on that Trezor product. But since this is a new Trezor Model T that I have for education purposes, let's do create a new one. All right, so we can choose between the standard seed backup or the Shamir share backup. Um, I'm, I think it's pronounced Shamir. Um, I'm gonna do the standard. All right, and this says uh, confirm on your Trezor. So you're gonna see this screen here Yours may be different down the road if there's a new firmware update. 
But then I can do, uh, do you want to create new wallet by continuing to agree? You agree to uh, the terms of service. So I can click the green button on the screen. That's a nice thing. It's a touch screen here on these, these Model Ts. All right. So your wallet is almost ready. Create backup. There we go. All right, so check your backup in device settings before sending money to the wallet. Never take a photo or make a digital copy of the backup. Keep your backup secured and never share it with anyone. All right, cool. Yep. All right, so let's click on the first one there. I get it, I understand, I understand. Let's begin our backup. Confirm on the Trezor. So uh, it says never make a digital copy of your recovery seed and never upload it online. You guys may not care to see this, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like here on the actual Trezor. Click I understand. Write down these 12 words. So you're going to see 12 different words here. I'll show you the first two, but keep these safe. Do not share them with anyone else online. Do not put them on a, a digital uh, platform or app that can be connected to the internet. Um, so I'm going to write these all down here. And then you're gonna see at the bottom here of the Model T, it's gonna say, I wrote down all 12 words in order, hold to confirm. So you're gonna hold on screen that button and then it's gonna cycle through, it says, okay, great, you did it. Now it's then going to select, based on the, the list that you had written down here, it's gonna give you three different options. It's gonna say, okay, uh, select word one of the 12. So I'm gonna look at my list I'm like, okay, so the first one there, I'm gonna select that particular word, and it's gonna say, okay, then what's uh, what's the word for six out of the 12? Okay, so then I found it there, click that, and once we know what, what number nine is. All right, and you have finished your verifying your recovery seed. There we go, so you see that there. Okay, click continue. Your backup is done. Use your backup when you need to recover your wallet. Yeah, get that, continue. Pin is not set. So you're gonna see on the screen there, it's gonna say your pin is not set. Well, we gotta, we gotta set that up here, okay? So back onto my desktop here, uh, or sorry, laptop. You're then gonna select continue to pin. Set a pin, all right. And then it's gonna, gonna enable pin. Do you really want to enable pin protection? So then I'm gonna click that green button right there. And I'm gonna enter in my new pin here on the keypad as you guys can see right there, okay? So I'm gonna select one myself. And then I'm gonna select that green button to accept. And it wants me to re-enter the pin. Success, you have successfully added the pin. All right, continue. I know these steps are super easy for you guys, but I just wanna go through it just in case. Um, you just wanna double and triple check and make sure you're doing everything correct. I just wanna help you out the best I can so that there are there's nothing that's, um, I don't know, a mystery to you, I should say. All right, so it says the pin is set. Let's continue here. All right, so it shows here active uh, coins here. Um, you can activate which ones you want on your Trezor. So let's just say for the fun, we got Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, we can do Doge, Dogecoin because that is very popular. Um, and then let's let's just leave that alone. Let's just do that for right now. And uh, great, okay. And then let's do complete setup. Okay, setup is complete. Let's uh, let's edit the name here. Let's just do this. There we go. Got to confirm on my Trezor that I want to name it that. Yes, there we go. And change the home screen. Let's let's do this. What do we want to do for the home screen here, guys? That's funny. Do Bitcoin. There we go. All right. And of course, you have to confirm it again on the home screen. Boom. There we go. All right. Now on to Access Suite. So there we go. This is... Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on here. Standard wallet. No passphrase. Hidden wallet. Passphrase is required. Enter passphrase. Okay, all right. So the it says passphrase entry. Please type your passphrase on the connected host. Um, that's if you have one set up. I'm just gonna do a standard wallet for this video here to make it super easy and simple. All right, so it's loading everything up here as you can see. It has my three different uh, coins here that are on. 
uh, the Trezor one here, assuming I wanted to have those uh, different cryptos on my Trezor Model T, I should say. And one thing I like to do is even when I have set up a new product, I also like to make sure that everything is up to date, not only the firmware, but the actual application in, in the suite, I should say. So the firmware on the application, the hardware wallet, and then of course the software. So you're gonna go come over here to the gear icon, select, uh, you can do application, scroll on down here to where it says suite version, check for updates, you can check. Boom, there's no new updates available. Okay, so that is up to date. Then let's do device. And then we come on down here to where it says security firmware version. I got 2.4.2, check for update. All right, um, so we already have this firmware version. I do not need to reinstall it, uh, but I always like to check and just make sure that everything is there that I want. And then one other thing I wanna show you guys is that if you wanna add other crypto uh, assets onto your Model T, uh, just go ahead and click accounts. And then you're gonna see, I already have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. Well, you can come up to this plus icon and do activate more coins and like, okay, so let's add Litecoin. There we go, find my Litecoin accounts. It's not gonna find anything because I have not set it up before, uh, but now it suddenly has the ability to send Litecoin to my Model T. So from there, I mean, there's other settings I could show you guys um, over here on, like say the crypto, you can toggle on and off what you want to see um, within your application. The device here, you can always come down and change the pin, the passphrase as well. Um, you can even change the name of the device, change that home screen image. I know it's super basic stuff, but I just wanted you guys to know about it. Uh, you can change the auto lock time right here. And then of course, wipe memory or install custom firmware. I would stay away from that. No need for you to do, be doing that. And then of course, if you wanna change the language and the currency, the fiat currency that you're comparing it to, your crypto assets to that fiat. Um, and then of course, dark mode. I love dark mode here on my end. And then of course, that checking for the sweet version update. Um, so that's, I mean, everything's pretty simple here, guys. It's, you know, and if you do wanna send uh, a crypto asset to your particular Model T, just click accounts. Let's say I wanna send Bitcoin. All right, so I'm gonna receive to my Model T, click receive, and then I can click show full address. And then it's gonna pop up with that QR code and the address, and then on the uh, on my Model T on the screen, it's gonna show me the actual address with the QR, if I wanna show the QR, or if I wanna show the address itself, and then click the green check mark to confirm that yes, that is correct. All right. And so then you just send it right there from whether you're on Coinbase or Gemini or Exodus, whatever you guys use, that is how you are able to grab that address for your account on the Model T. And it's fairly simple from there. If you wanna then, let's say you want to send it from the Model T, just click on send. You're going to put in the address there that you're sending to, the amount of BTC or what it is in USD, um, and then uh, from there, you can check the type of fees that you're looking to spend. And, and what those fees are is for network fees. So um, the high, if you go high, it's gonna be more expensive, but you're also, the transactions will complete faster and it'll be confirmed on the blockchain a whole lot faster than if you say you choose low, okay? So it just depends if you're patient. I mean, like here, I'll show you here, um, low could take almost up to four hours, economy says about four hours, and then normal is 40 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes on the high version of the fees, you can also, also do custom. I wouldn't worry about custom. Um, if I were you, if you can wait, I would do you know normal or economy. I mean, economy, for me, it's just like, hey, I know it's gonna be sent properly. I don't need to wait. I don't need to have it right now, right this second. So. I mean, if it's if your case, if you're trying to trade and you need it right away because you want to trade with the volatility, of course you're gonna wanna set high because then you have it within 10 minutes. It, sometimes it's a whole lot faster than 10, but they just give you averages here. But for me, if I'm just sending it and I'm, I'm holding long-term, I'll just do economy. There's no need to have a faster, uh, uh, shall we say, confirmation time on my, my transactions there. So. 
Um, that is just a quick overview, guys, of how you send and receive. You can trade here on the platform. Um, personally, I've never traded. I like to just hold long term, but you can trade here on the uh, Trezor uh, app. Um, I'm unsure about the fees. Don't ask me about the fees and what they're like. I do know, for example, on Ledger, their fees to trade within their suite is extremely high. And I tell people do not trade on their platform. It is not worth it. So I can't confirm with Trezor. So uh, for what that is, you guys, you know, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think um, in terms of the, the fees. But that is what you do there if you want to send, receive, or, or trade. And uh, so some of the other videos, guys, I'm going to show you how to actually send and receive it. I'm also going to compare the, you know, the Model T to the Model 1 that I have or the Trezor 1, as they like to call it. Um, and then I have some other ideas in terms of, you know, exchanges and sending it from one exchange to the other with your uh, Trezor product. So if you guys found this video helpful... Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to turn on that bell notification so you're notified when I put out a new video. I try to do once a week. Um, and then uh, share these videos with your friends and family. Uh, if you do find it helpful, if it helps you set up your products, if it helps you uh, be more in tune to what's going on with Trezor uh, and what they're doing for their customers like you, um, let people know about this. Uh, the more people that find these videos helpful, uh, the more uh, the algorithm on YouTube, as you guys know, spreads the word. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me and just being with me on this journey of learning more more about cryptocurrency. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and until next time, stay safe.